hey guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we would be understanding the concept of slots okay so we have a component in here that is by the name parent slot demo html and we also have a child component that is uh, this this is in child component we have in here and this thing is coming from the parent one so for now it's clear and simple so what is the need of slots and why slots are required we would be understanding in this video so what do we have to do is if we want to send any property to the child uh, element so what we used to do is we define a property via api variable right like ap at the rate uh, api and name right and this property you could access in from the parent html and you could just pass it to the child component but the main catch here is what if we want to pass some markup to your child component then our slots come into picture so let's understand about those i hope my screen is quite enough visible for you all so when you want to send markup let's suppose some html code with predefined slds classes from your parent component to your child component then we make use of slots getting my point so the basic gist here is that when we want to send the properties we pass it from parent to child and we want when we want to send uh, uh markup then we use uh, slots so when we want to send data then we use properties when we want to send markup then we uh, make use of slots so this is again also one interview question so that what is the need of slots and what are the type of slots so guys we have some types in slots so we have two types of slots one is your named slots and other is your unnamed slots unnamed slots also called your default slots so let's understand about those default slots or unnamed slots are the slots that can be used to inject content from a parent component into a child component got it default slots are denoted by the slot keyword in the child component element html template okay so what we would be doing now is we would be understanding first of our unnamed slots so what i would be doing here is i have just called this child element in here and in my child demo uh, let me just open them side by side so that it would be more easy to understand uh okay let me remove this i don't want this junk and in my html file so my parent html file is this one this is just the heading and the uh, child element right and this is what is being rendered in here also let me just refresh the page again for you so now uh, yeah this is in child component so that is coming fine now what if i wanted to pass some data from here so let's say hi child from parent so uh, from parent right now let me deploy this let me just do a refresh so in the default state it doesn't render and that we also know right but what if i say ki okay we can render this thing also now what we do is in the child as we have understood what we would be passing here is we would be passing a keyword called slot and just this what i did is in my child component i just pass the keyword as slot okay and in my parent component let it be as it is first let me sorry deploy my child then i'll deploy my parent component now what it will do here is let me just refresh this so guys if we see hi child from parents rendered in child component also rendered so let's look at what so in the child component we are calling the child component first right so if we see in the child demo we have called the child component then we have passed the property called slot now in the slot this high child from parents is coming let's suppose now what we have to do is i would be utilizing a paragraph tag and what i would be doing is i would be giving this a uh, style is equal to uh, color green and font size one rem okay this you can pass it from the css uh, as well but i am just passing in the style tag so we just did a empty cache and it came uh, working 
so if you see i just passed my markup from my parent component to my child component so this was possible by the uh, only keyword that is slot in our child component right so this is the concept of your unnamed or your default uh, slots got it now we are going about to discuss about named slots so named slots are the placeholder within the component that can be used to inject a specific content from a parent component so what it says is in the child component we could have the slot by particular names right and you can define multiple kinds of slots so that we could have uh, we could solve a different purpose because in our unnamed slots we can just uh, pass this type of html right and just we have to then uh, define and style each and every property for that but what if we could pass multiple slots to the child component so what i would be doing here is in my child component let me just remove all the unnecessary things in my child one i would be uh, what i would be doing here is i would be passing a named slot so how you could pass a named slot is so you have to create it by the name let's suppose slot name is equal to heading uh, title let's suppose title and let me just close this and again we would be having a, another slot uh, so I'll just copy paste this and uh, let me give it the name as body so we have two slots let me just deploy this child component right now what i would be doing is how to reference these in the parent component so this is our child component correct now what i would say here is let it be as it is and let the p tag come down now i have some named slots also right so i would be doing uh, but i would be just creating a p paragraph tag again and i would just pass the slot name as title okay this is title and uh, you could have p slot as body right and you could say this is body and based upon the css that you want you can uh, give this so you could give border one pixel solid red and uh, you could give out some margin right and uh, right so in this way you could play around with your named and unnamed slots so this has been deployed let me just refresh this so see our uh, uh, this is the title loaded and our body gets loaded up right so in this way you can pass your custom uh, css from your parent to the child by the use of slots so i hope um, you got some understanding about how slots function in lwc and what is the need of your slots so that was it for this video if you have any related doubts regarding anything you can uh, comment down below i would be happy to take up your doubts